All right, good morning. We are here right outside the Northwest Quads. Um, it's a little confusing. So the Northwest Quads is comprised of four buildings. So right now we're in the center. This is right here. This is Gatewood we're Hall. We're underneath the pergola, underneath as a matter of fact. Pergola. It's really yes. pretty. Um, right here, this is the Gatewood Hall mm -hmm. of the Quads. Right. Let's just watch a little bit over here. Sure. So you can see it. There's it's a it's big, it's actually a big structure with four different buildings. Very big. So just so you don't get confused on move in day, um, the one right next to it, we're, we're trying to come over here and see, is Harding Hall at the quad. Mm -hmm. um, and this one right here is going to be quad C. And this one right here connected with the dining hall is going to be quad B. Quad B and Quad C, you can right there in the walkway. That's where it connects to the two. There's resident reserve um, parking that way too, to yeah, the north here. Resident reserve just that way, and you're right by Pat Walker, which is why you hear some construction. Yeah. That's Pat, Pat Walker. That's right next to you. Making and a better Pat Walker Health Center for exactly. you. Exactly. And this is the dining hall right here. Yeah. So we're full bright. Walk in. Full bright is the name of this dining hall. Full bright dining hall. It's going to be your nearest one, of course. Definitely have to try out their stir fry. It's really good. I lived in Yoakum last year. So I'd walk over here just for the stir fry. So something to just know. for the stir fry. Just for okay. the stir fry. So did you do rice or did you noodles with your stir fry? Rice with peas and carrots. Oh, your peas and carrots. How nice is that? Peas and carrots. Okay, so we're gonna head into which building? We're gonna go inside Quad C. Quad, I believe B. 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 Quad yes. B. Quad C is over on quad the north C side. Is yeah. Well, they interchange, so we'll kind they of do. Show they you actually where meet at a certain point. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We have a lot of people, some people tuning in. We're, can you tell us where you're from? We'd love to hear. Yeah, so this front door right here, you do not have to fall into um, because it's a dining hall for all other people like Hocom, um, Futrol. All mm -hmm. of them will also use this dining hall because it's the closest one to them. So you don't have to fall in here, but you will have to fall in once you get to the elevators. Gotcha. And then we have kind of a common area right here. Yeah, so right here is just kind of a common area where you can hang out, where you can chill. Um, there's some pool tables, there's some ping pong tables. Um, all of that equipment you'll have to rent from the front desk, which we'll talk to her in just a second. Uh -huh, sure. Um, Let's say hello to Pam from Sherwood. Glad hi, to have Pam you. From Sherwood. Glad to have you watching. Yeah, so this is just a really good place just to come and hang out. Um, mm -hmm. It's really fun just to come and play these games, you know, just to release from homework from time to time because it can get very stressful your first semester. Ah, and um, Cindy of Austin says hello. Hello, Cindy. Um, uh, I know a lot of people use this space to like when they're going to meet someone before yes. they go dine. They'll come yes, out and just, a lot of people. I'll meet just, you there. Exactly, and you can come down from your room and just meet them down here because the dining hall is just right over here. Yeah. So we'll go to the front. Sure, let's go to the front desk yeah. and find out a little bit about how mail happens. And yeah. other things. She's on the phone. Oh, okay, she's on the phone right now. So tell us a little bit about you. I am a advertising and public relations major. Mm -hmm. I have a marketing minor. I should be going into my sophomore year in the fall, but I've actually taken so much credit that I'll be a junior in the fall. Nice. So trying to hurry it up because I know how expensive it is on my parents and. I kind of want to get into the working world. They right. tell me I shouldn't speed it up, but... And where did you live? I lived in Yoakum Hall. Mm -hmm. I lived on the center of campus. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a recommendation from someone at my high school, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was always cool coming over here, though, except for I got very confused. Yeah. Because there's so many buildings over here. That's why at the very beginning we were kind of showing you each building. Sure. And I guess, yeah, you're, you're becoming, that's the central part of campus is in that direction right yes. there, the union and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. And it's nice to just kind of get out of campus sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. you're just kind of always consumed in your schoolwork over there. And it's like when you come back over here, it's just relaxing. You can take a deep breath and just, sure. just pray that you get an A on that test that you had just taken. Let's go so, and check out the mail system. Yeah. Here, I'll show you how that works. And there is a front desk here as well. And uh, that's a space where you can go to okay, check out mail so and check out some uh, ping pong tables yeah, and things like that. Yeah. So this is going to be all of y'all's mail. Basically, you'll get an email sent to your UARC account, um, which is about to become your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just <laughs> always use it now. Yeah. So you're going to get, it's going to be an email that says what your box number is and then the combination for it. Sure. So any of your mail will come right here. If you do have packages, though, mm -hmm. that are too big to fit in the mailbox, you'll go to the front desk. Right, right. And you'll just scan your student ID, 
and then you can get your package from there. Yeah. So there's a lot of them right here. Also, around, I'll show y'all. Yeah. Real quick. This desk actually serves more than just Harding just and Gatewood and Northwest Quad and B and C. And you can drop your mail off right here in the outgoing yeah. mail right there. It also serves. But it also serves Futural and Holcomb. Uh -huh. They'll also come over here to get their mail as well. Mm -hmm. So usually two people will share one mailbox. Yeah. So, very good. Very yeah. good. Okay. Well, let's check out some more little unexplored areas in the Northwest Quad. Unexplored areas. I know there's a. Uh, well, here's the elevator that we're going to be yeah, going so up this later. The elevator that I was talking about, you cannot go in unless you fob it. Mm -hmm. So if you're not living in this hall, you can't go up there. So. If you're wanting to visit a friend, they need to come down here to get you. Hang out in that common area. Hang out in that there. good old common area. So right here is where you can get some magazines and newspapers. Um, there's some recycling. We're all about recycling here on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was going to point out this real quick. Always bring your refillable water bottle. So basically you can put your water underneath here and you can refill your water. And it actually helps eliminate waste. Yeah, where um, we at? Plastic bottles were at 80,751. Very nice. Okay. So definitely use that. One of the cool things about the quads is there is a computer lab right here. Yeah. So that's included in all of your student fees. Um, you can print out paper. You do have like a limit, which you really can't go over that limit because I printed everything last year and you can't go over the limit. Um, so it's just nice. It's open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Keep that in mind. And this isn't just for people who live in the quads. Anyone can use this. So realistically, so, we have a lot of people who are from either one of the Maples yes. or Reed even or Hots who come and print things yeah. out here. Um, and just something for you to know before you get here, Microsoft Office is free for everyone when you get here. Um, you can go to the bookstore on campus and they can help you set it up or you can get to any IT desk on campus mm -hmm. and they'll help you set up. So don't worry about buying Microsoft Word or Excel because all of that is free. It is. Perks of being a student. Yeah, go to its.uart.edu. So right here, we'll go inside the music. Okay, well that's a heavy yeah. door. Um, so for all of our musically gifted people, you can come in here and do some practice. I pass by here and people were playing violins and we have a good old piano. Um, we have some stands if you ever needed to come in and use them. Uh, we do have a little... <laughs> Drummer set. A drummer set, right there. <laughs> but also, I mean, even if you're not a music student, you can always just come in here and do some work if you wanted to. Yeah, do you play any instruments? Uh, no. Okay, okay. I actually can't even sing. I'm such a horrible singer. One time, someone at church told me that it was better if I just sung the guy's part. Aww. So. You can sing anytime. Really bad. We'll get you on camera singing. I'm joking, we won't. Oh, gosh. Um, just gotta take in the smell right here because it smells like cinnamon rolls right now. It smells it so good. a nice bakery smell. This is going to be the Fulbright Dining Hall. So when you come in, there's going to be someone at this front desk. You'll give your student ID, you'll give it to them, and they'll just swipe it. Sure. You can't swipe for any of your friends, just for yourself. Uh, if you want to swipe for a friend, they would. you would have to use your dining dollars to do that. Um, We're doing a tour at yes. 2 p.m. today for of, all about the of campus this dining, dining. hall. Yeah. So we'll stay tuned for that one, just giving you a little show what it is super good um, sure. and then right here we just have some bathrooms and this is a meeting hall mm -hmm. where it's currently all the CREs on campus is having a meeting yes and CREs will explain what that is that is a coordinator for residence education it's a professional level staff member who actually lives in the residence hall yeah. and kind of oversees the RAs um, now I know you had a pretty good relationship with your RA yes my RA her name was Rachel mm -hmm. Gross mm -hmm. She was super sweet. Um, we were complete opposites, but building that connection with your RA um, goes up our ways. We ended up being in the same class, so that was nice when I couldn't go or I was sick or something, I could always get the notes from her, and it was just nice getting some help. And she helped me out with like classes I should take, um, any questions that I had about the hall, so sure. definitely use them as a resource because they're not there just for nothing. Yeah, so CREs and RAs are housing staff who live in the halls that will help you out. That's what we're there for. Exactly. So now we will go over here towards the elevator. Okay. Um, where we said you want to fob in. Actually, we'll go to the desk first. We'll introduce you to someone. Okay. You'll be seen quite often as you live here. Sure. It's a really cool hog right here. That is a hand-drawn hog. I like it. Yeah. 
Here's a map of Fayetteville, yeah. um, in case you just ever wanted to check out. We invite Fayetteville. you to explore the city. The historic walking tour. Yes. And Fable is a fun city to explore and very walkable, it very is. bikeable. Those are two things we find that are pretty common with that. Welcome back to our front and desk. Yeah. Hey, you mind if we say hello to you real quick? How are yes. you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you all? Just fine. Good. What's your name? My name is Christy, yeah. and I am the administrative specialist for the Quad and Holcomb Futural. And so I take care of checking in and checking out, do the keys and the fobs. I process all the packages that come in every day. Um, I have all four quad buildings and then whole computer all across the street. Oh, so I run the desk for all of them. I deal with lockouts and lock changes, anything like that. So anything that the students need, I have almost a thousand students that I take care of. Wow, that is and a lot thing, of stuff. Yes, yes it is. What tends to be the most frequent question that you get or task that you get? Um, packages. Packages. Packages are a big deal. We process a lot of packages every year and I have a lot that come through the quad mm -hmm. and lots of questions about when my package will get here, how soon can I get it, things like that. And what are your standard answers about those things? Um, usually packages are delivered every day mm -hmm. and then we process this process them within the same day and they can get their packages up until four o'clock Monday through Friday when I'm here okay. unless it goes into their mailbox yeah so, yes. great well thank you so much You're very uh, welcome. we're glad to um, be able to say hello to you next year when yes I look so. forward to meeting all of you please come and let me know if you all have any questions oh, thank you very much you're welcome bye, -bye. so let's head on upstairs so I noticed it's, it's kind of loud here and that's because we have people coming and going all the time in this space but so we're, we're about to go into the more controlled space. We're going to be fobbed in. Yes. That's super good security feature that we have on campus that goes for every single resident's hall. Mm -hmm. um, something about the Northwest Quad, it holds about 600 students. It is a co-ed building. Um, if you have, there's two, three, four bedroom, four person bedrooms. Um, There'll be, if you're in a two person room, you'll have one bathroom that you share. If you're in a three or four person bedroom, you'll share two bathrooms. And then you have a common living space. So we're gonna go check that out. We're going to go to the top floor. Top floor, fourth floor. Top floor. A um, building B. A building B. You'll see C, we'll kind of walk over there when we get to the laundry room. Um, and then Gatewood and Harding are not physically connected. No. So rather than take a two, do all four of them, we decided we'll just do B for now. Yeah. It's all the same layout. It's very, same. very similar layouts. Yeah. Okay, we have finally made it to the top floor. Okay. Here we are on the fourth floor of... Yeah. Of B. B. Yes. So right here behind you, those are just some tables that you could sit at. Uh, put mm -hmm. your computer up there and do some homework if you wanted to. Get some space. Oh, <laughs> you can't really see this. But welcome to the number one SEC city in the nation. Um, we are actually named that, and we're number three best place to live in in the world. We've had some good rankings so far in yeah. Fayetteville, Arkansas. We actually have plaques because it's real. <laughs> so we'll walk all the way down here. Um, super cool. Kind of looks like a hotel. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, these were originally constructed as sort of upperclassmen housing. Mm -hmm. Since that time, there have been, you know, all kinds of different students who have lived here. But you're going to notice that there's a lot more sort of suite style. They'll have bathrooms in every um, residence hall. So there's not as much community bathrooms. Yes, which means you're going to have to clean your own. <laughs> yes, that is the, that's so the cost. Here is just kind of like a really cool lounge space. It's on every floor. Mm -hmm. So you have some tables, you just have some couches, and you do have a flat screen TV. Yeah. Um, there's a whiteboard, so if you ever need to do any group projects, work out some math problems, bring your own expo marker, and you can write on the board and just erase it whenever you're done. Be sure. courteous. One on so. each floor, and there was a quiet space back behind us too, yeah. which we can just check out real quick. So. Should be right around here to the left, and this then one? to the right. Um, yes, yes, the the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's just a lounge. Very soundproof. Like I literally my voice is echoing in here. Yeah. Close the door, you can't hear anything. You have to be quiet in here. No if you answer. So come in here if you want to do homework without the distraction of other people and without the distraction of talking. You could always go to Club Mullins, which is our library here on campus. <laughs> it's called the club because you're there all night long. 
um, Mullins Library on the Mullins, center campus. Claude Mullins. It is a four story building, the basement, absolutely utter silence. Don't even talk in there. I feel awkward just opening up my backpack. I feel like that's <laughs> not enough. Um, first floor is just your computer lab. You're gonna have all the computers you need. Um, there's gonna be some open rooms where you can rent out, where you can do group projects in there. Um, and that's just gonna be all the help desk if you ever had a question. The second floor is gonna be another no talking. Of course, there's books all throughout all four stories. Um, third floor, which is my personal favorite floor, is the talking floor. Um, so you can go there if you need a talk, you know, obviously don't talk as loud as I'm talking right now. I'm just a little whisper, but it's a good place to go if you're still trying to do group projects sure. and don't want to run out of room. Or There's a lot of good study nooks in there. You just really got to find them. Yeah, excellent. Thank yeah. you. I, library's a good place to go. Yeah, and you may get lost. I get lost every single time I go. <laughs> it's okay. I still find my way out. Welcome, Amelia. Good to have you uh, join us on this tour. Yeah, so we're going to walk down here and we are going to see a room and then we are going to see the laundry room and we'll see where B and C interconnect. Yes, so we're walking the length of B right now. And make sure you can type in the comment box, ask us any questions. Um, we did have some questions come in before, mm -hmm. so we'll just answer those. Just where was the, I'm sorry, I didn't It's this way? Yep. I didn't point out the number first. Oh, or yeah, do you sure. want to see laundry first? Let's go ahead and see Let's a little, see look at laundry first. Yeah. And trash chute. Laundry and trash chute, we'll do that. Because that way we can spend more time in there. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be your laundry room. You have six dryers, you have five washers. You do not have to bring any coins. This is included in your housing fees. Um, you can just bring your own detergent. We suggest doing little Tide Pods. However, if you're like me and you really miss your fabric softener, I just do the regular old-fashioned stuff. Mm -hmm. um, something right here on the wall, which is super cool, um, you'll see in every single laundry room. Basically, what you can do is you can download a free app on your iPhone or Android, whatever you have. You can scan this QR code that is on the washer right here. They're also on the dryers as well. And it will tell you whenever your clothes are done. You can take them out and move them, and they'll tell you if there's even one open, so you don't have to be running down here wasting some time if you're trying to do some studying. These do lock, so no one can take your clothes out. Um, and then you can get a notification sent through your phone or like a text message um, saying that, okay, your laundry's done. Um, you can also do it on your computer if you're like me and your phone is always dead. So it's just right up there on the um, wall, so yeah. if you ever forget. Laundry alert saying, monitoring system right there. Laundry alert, definitely use it. Use all of the things that are provided for you. because you Particularly ones that are no cost. And no cost, yes. yeah. So just something good to use. Right. We have a table there we can use for Don't forget dryer clothing. sheets. Uh -huh. I always did that when I come and dry my clothes. I would always forget my drying sheets. Mm, gotcha. Of course. Okay, and right over here, there is another table where you can just kind of hang out, relax, if you mm. want to do some homework while right next to the laundry. So right here's a trash chute. Mm -hmm. um, so basically you'll just throw your trash in there. There's no cardboard allowed. This is my favorite sign. Do not be lazy and do not just leave it right there. You can walk a little bit further just to put it down the trash chute. Don't be um, lazy. Do, do the right thing. Do the things. right thing. That's do what the it right thing. All right. Um, and then there's something right here about recycling. So mm -hmm. if you ever had any questions about can I recycle this, can I not recycle this, right here on the wall. Yeah. We're all about going green. Okay, well let's go ahead and show them a room now. Well, real quick, I'll just show yep. you right where, this is where B and C connect. So Down this that is corridor is C. So I'm literally half and half right now. Yes. I'm in quad B and I'm in quad C. So, <laughs> just kind of. Two buildings at once. Two buildings at once. This is the stairs right here. Mm -hmm. So if you ever just wanted to go in that way instead of going all the way down. I get the, I get the feeling a lot of people are going to be taking the elevator. Type, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm pretty lazy. Okay, so we are going into room B413. So B413, if this is your room, we're checking it out for you. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's head inside. In, you're just going to have a nice little living space. You can sit down, relax. Um, you can put a TV right here, right next to this mm -hmm. little drawer right here. You're going to have internet cable, which is going to give you... Can you close those blinds, please? Yeah. A lot of... A lot of light. 
There we go. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Um, so you're going to have an internet cable right here, which is going to give you Cox cable. Um, it's going to give you all the channels that you need and the HBOs. Mm. So if you wanted to watch um, some, I don't know, True Blood that's on HBO or um, any type of movie. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Winter is here. The, uh, and Cox makes available, as a, for an additional fee, you can get a DVR yeah. attached to it. Which is, I would suggest. Yeah, I mean, some people stream all their stuff, but if you're catching it that way, that's always good yeah. too. So this is a big common area, or a common area that we, in here we have what, four people who would be sharing this yeah, particular space? Yeah, so we're going to have two people on this side, two people on this side. Okay. The same exact layout. So um, which way do you want to go, left or right? We'll go this way. Okay, we'll go right. Um, also, just plug right here. You can put a fridge underneath here, which is what it's kind of designed for. There is yeah. a plug into the wall, so you could just share one if y'all needed to, and you can plug in a microwave right here. Do you mind opening up that cabinet? Let yeah. me see. Yeah, okay. Put some good old food in there. Put some snacks. Not going to really need a whole lot since the dining hall is right below our feet. Um, you have the best dining hall in my opinion. <laughs> I've been to all of them. You've been to all three, huh? I've been to all three. Okay, so we're heading into yeah. like the living area. That would be what two people would share this yes. living area. Yeah, so right here is just each person's gonna have their own closet, um, mm -hmm. their own kind of walk in closet. Um, you got a rod right here, I believe we had a question. Yeah, do you have about, that, yeah. that sheet of paper? They wanted to know the length and the width. So we were gonna go ahead and measure that. Oh, let's get that. Aha, uh -huh. bear with me. Mm -hmm. So we are sitting at 66. 66 is the distance there. Okay. And the width of this closet from the pole to the pole where you'll be holding your clothes up at. Like your tension rod. Yeah. Yes. There. Which will be about 40 and a half. 40 and a half. 40 okay. and a half to where you're yeah. actually going to be putting in your clothes. Yeah. So. And uh, PBS does quad so you have hardwood floors also. There are some hardwood floors. I can't remember if it's quad C or not. Um, let me try to follow up on that after we uh, finish our tour. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's at one of the closets. Oh, that's one of the closets. You can lock them um, in case you don't trust your roommate or someone. Mm -hmm. You should. So. What Here's... is the depth of the closet, asks Pam. The depth. So basically, the back of the wall to, yeah, to the front. To right there. So, well, yeah, we'll do the shelf first. Let me do my handy dandy down tool. 16. 16 inches is the depth of that shelf. And then they'd like to, Cindy would like to know. 26. 26 all the way out to, which word did you measure it to? Right there? Yeah. Okay, right there. Yeah. Um, Cindy would like to know uh, the height from the closet shelf up. Yeah. So, to the roof. Um, 24. 20, right at 24. Right at 24 inches to yeah. the roof there. Okay, great. The top. All right, yeah. well, let's head on in. It's a you, lot bigger than you think once you get here. Yeah. I will say that. Our pleasure, Pam. That's what we're here to do. Yeah. Okay. So right here, we're just going to have two sinks with uh, vanities right here. Just put on your makeup in the morning, guys. Just kind of wash your face. Um, some shelves underneath where you can put towels or something. Mm -hmm. You can put your shower caddy underneath there. Um, and then right here, of course, you can hang like a washcloth or something. Sure. And then this is your, ooh, this is your bathroom. Mm -hmm. We did have a question. No, it has a shower rod. It has the hooks. It has a curtain. So you don't need anything else for your shower unless you wanted to hang like, ooh, unless you wanted to hang something above the shower head, which I I wouldn't even do because there's shelves right here. Sure. Um, you can Let's take a look. You can make a beautiful bubble bath if you want to. Um, there's some rods up against here where you can hang your towels. There's the shower head right there. There's the shower head. Uh -huh. um, here's the toilet, of course. You're going to have to buy your own um, toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but it's going to happen. Um, some rods right here where you can hang up your towels or your um, towel wraps, which yeah. you don't necessarily yeah, this is, need. This is your space to keep clean. Your space. You have to clean this or else mm -hmm. it's just going to be disgusting. I mean... Yeah, we recommend that you do. Yeah, I should you say it that should. way. Okay, so now we're gonna look at one of the bedrooms that one person would have. Yeah, so this is just a typical bedroom that you would have. 
Um, you do have a bed, which we had a question about putting risers underneath. Mm -hmm. We do not suggest that at all. Um, it's not the safest thing ever, especially when you can loft your beds. Mm -hmm. um, you just go to um, housing.uart.edu housing. slash forward slash fix it. Fix it. F-I-X-I-T. Yes. So you can loft it all the way to the top if you needed mm -hmm. to. It's or up higher. if you didn't want to put on a maintenance request, you can always do it yourself. We're going to have rubber mallets here. But we do suggest bringing your own, just mm -hmm. because everyone's trying to do things on moving day. So always just loft it. I mean, it's easier. You can put anything you want underneath. You can put extra shelves or anything. Yeah. Um, right here is going to be your desk area, of course. You're going to have a dresser right here that has three drawers, and you're going to have a little bedside that has three drawers. And then behind Christopher is mm -hmm. going to be a big dresser, kind of another space where you can hang things up. Yeah, let's open it up. Let him see. Yeah. So another one, it does have a rod in there. Um, let's go ahead and measure it just because since there are two wardrobes, I want to make sure that we're sure. going to get the right measurements to someone. So we got a couple questions too. I'm going to ask, do all the quad rooms have hardwood or um, are some carpeted? Uh, you know, I think it's mostly tile and hardwood. There are some carpets in some of them as well. So it's a mixture of all of, the, of all three of those. Um, Krista asks, can the dresser fit under a lofted bed? I would say no, no. Looking at the height of that, there's probably no way that, that could be lofted, unfortunately. Um, 54 and a half uh -huh. tall, 34 and a half wide. 34 and a half wide, and then 54, 54 and a half. From that? From the top from to that. the top. Okay, okay, yeah. great, great. Um, PB asks, what's the width of the headboard? And I don't know if this one has a headboard. We can certainly measure yeah. measure that part right there. So we'll measure from the end of the bed post mm -hmm. to the end of the bed post, which is 39 and a half. But if you're wanting from the inside to the inside, it's going to be 33 and a fourth. Okay. So 39 and a half from the bed post to the bed post. If you look at that inside, then what was it? 33 and one fourth. 33 and one fourth. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Hunter asks, if the bed is lofted, how much space will be between the, the bed and the furniture on the other side? So, I don't know that it's going to change. It won't change. So, what you've got is this kind of sort of recessed area right there. See that little uh, half moon? So, what we'll give you then is like kind of post to post. Post to post, you're looking at 29. 29 inches post to post. And that bed is pushed back against the wall about as much as you... You wouldn't want to push yeah. it back any further. So you have 29 inches of clearance mm -hmm. between the desk, except for that. What's the longest clearance that you have there? Um, I would take 40. it from. I would take it from the frame. What do you mean? The frame? See, right underneath the mattress is the frame. Oh, that frame. Yeah. 44. 44. Okay. Yeah. 44 and a half. 44 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Got a couple more questions. Um, Helen asked how wide is the bed. It should be 36 inches, but we'll measure just to make sure. I think all of our beds are 36 inches wide. Yes. Okay. The only difference you'll see is in the dimension of length. And sometimes it's 76, sometimes it's 80. And then if, if it's an extra long bed request, then it could be up to 84, but those are rare. 78. Yeah. Okay. Buffy asks, can you hang a curtain? If so, what is the best way? I would say... You can hang a curtain. Yeah. Um, it's looking at 57 tall. 57 tall. And 38 wide. 38 wide. So, yeah, you know, you're not allowed to uh, go into the drywall. So probably what you'd want to do is get some sort of command strip that could hold up mm -hmm. a lighter, a lighter weight, um curtain and then you'd be fine to mount it the thing is we don't want to we can't damage our walls that's yeah. the problem okay I mean, you don't necessarily need a curtain if the blinds can shut so. uh chris asks are the ceilings a standard eight feet and let's see i don't know that our tape measure will go that high <laughs> we can definitely see but i know what my height is <laughs> maybe you can help her try to get that measure i don't know if we can get that i don't know if we can I guess just hold it sturdy, yeah. Yeah, thanks. 
Okay. Well, we're at 104. 104 Divide by inches. 12. Divide by 12. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my calculator app up right now. Yeah, I but 104 inches would be at Let's the top. See. 104, 10. Yeah. Divided by 12, 8 and a half ish. 8.66667. Okay, okay. So, so a little eight over, and a, half. a little over 8 feet. 8 and a half feet, is that what you said? Yes, 8 and a half. Okay. Um, let's see, we've got a couple more questions. Would the disc fit next to the bed? I mean... No. Oh, you're saying, yeah, would it clear in that direction? I don't think it's going to clear in that direction. We can measure it just to make sure that, if you don't mind. We can just do a length and a length. That would tell us. Because that's a long desk. Thank you. <laughs> um, the desk would be right at 79. 79, and then the clearance from that bed post to the wall is not 79, but we can go give it to him. So you're shy, what, 12 inches? Yeah. You're, you're shy a foot, unfortunately, from that. Okay. Um, Helen asks, how long is the bed? And we'll, we'll give you the length of this bed. No, the, the specific bed might be. 70, it was 77. Okay, 70, so yeah. So 76, 77 right there. Okay. Um, Amalia asks, can you pull out the desk chair? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. A little kind of. Kind of rocks. Doesn't so, it have a, oh, it is a little rocking rockin'. chair. Don't go too far back or else you might tip over. And then there's clearance in there as well. Yeah, and there's an internet cable and mm -hmm. TV cable. There are four um, plug-ins right down there. So. Oh, yeah. So you've got some... Oh, sorry. You're good. You've got some uh, outlets right there as yes, well. Yes, you got four of them. And you have, I guess, cable. So you can do TV in your room if you want. Why not? Who wants to watch Netflix in the room? That's me. <laughs> Um, Louisa, this is, we're not right now in quad, Northwest quad. Northwest quad. Building B. B. Yeah. Um, can we make sure that we answered all those questions we got beforehand? Yes. Let me double check in my handy dandy notes. Yeah. Because who do those questions come from? Turner yeah. Becker. Yeah. We appreciate those questions. Um, shower curtain rods in the bathroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. The wardrobe measured that. Um, we didn't measure... Want to know, do you know how many inches make up the drawer? Yes. We did height, we did depth, um, and okay. width on that. Same with that one. We didn't do depth on that one. Okay. So you can do that one real quick. Um, can you also measure the size of one of the bed posts as I'm trying to find some risers? We mm -hmm. did answer that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, again, just loft your bed. Um, mm -hmm. Housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it. There we go. So let's measure the depth just because that was the only thing we didn't do. I don't know which drawer you're talking about, um, but the depth of this one is going to be 21. 21 inches there for you. Yeah, okay. 21. Had a couple more questions come in too. Yeah. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay. What is the width of the bed posts? I think that when we. Have we gotten that one yet? Uh, we did the width of the, yeah, we did do the width of the bed post. Width of the bed post. Yeah. If you could, Louisa, just, um, this will be saved. You can go back and watch about, I don't know. We'll give it to you. Huh? 39? Okay. 39, no problem. Um, how wide and deep is the closet and how many inches off the floor is the shelf? I don't I know. Um, we, we measured from, oh, oh, I'm sorry. We measured the top, the width, and we just measured the depth of it. Um, but all the way up, because there are two drawers down on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It will measure it from the floor. Let me just get my foot on it. Um, all the way up to the top, we're looking at 79. 79 inches all the way up to the top. Yeah. Um, how many inches off the floor is the shelf? Inches off the floor is the shelf. So that first shelf, I guess. Um, if you're wanting to do the two shelves, it is... 20 and a half. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the bottom shelf, it's right at 11 and a half. 11 and a half for the bottom shelf. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. What is the height of the wardrobe closet? You do have a cork board right here where you can yeah. take some pictures. There's a cork board yeah. in, this, in this particular room. In this particular room. Hang a good old picture of you, mom and dad. 
Hunter asks, how big of a bathrobe can be put in front of the sink? Hmm. Well. See. Yeah. I mean, what? A, I think let's go ahead and get... A runner or one just yeah. here? Yeah. A runner would work well, but also if you want to do like a circular. Uh, go ahead and give us just a square of, of, of that. Um, you're looking at 36. I'm sure this one should be 30. Ow. 36. Uh-oh. No injuries allowed. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah. 36, 36. So that's 36 by 36 if you wanted to take that center square right there. 3 by 3. What's that? 3, three by three. 3? Yeah. I mean, you could do a 5, 7, I don't know. Yeah. You do that. PBS, is the back wall green or is that light? It, it is green. It, this one is green. It is kind of a lime green. I'll show you. We'll come in there, tie it on it, let you see. So it's definitely a green color. That is the light as well, but it is green. And there's the white for contrast. Um, and you can lock your door. So if you didn't want anyone to come in, you can lock each individual door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Louisa asks, I want the width of just one bed post. So is it a three inch square, four inch square? What kind of square is it? Three inch. Back it is three a, inch. yes, it's a three inch square right there. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, a lot of wonderful questions. We appreciate you asking us these things. We're gonna hang out for another minute or two and just let you see if yeah. you have any more questions for us. We are here to answer anything that you may have. Yeah. Okay. So we're excited to have y'all here on campus in the fall. Mm -hmm. Promise it's a really fun place to be. Um, just some tips from someone who's been here. Um, take your study seriously. It's different going from high school where people are pounding on you to actually do homework. and Now you're on your free time so you really have to make yourself sit down and do homework because sometimes it takes a lot longer than you think. Um, it is nicer not having no good of seven classes a day sometimes you have three classes a day or two or a couple more um, so that's definitely a lot nicer but always be on time leave 20 30 minutes early for class just to make sure that you get there and you know just have fun this is a time for you to grow up kind of be on your own it's definitely nice and be friendly meet everyone so yeah, yeah. fantastic and i i completely agree yeah uh, so the important part i uh, we had a couple more quick questions coming yeah. these will be our last questions that we're taking uh, Pam mask is lime green in all rooms, and you know I'm just not sure about all the rooms. I know that the ones that we've seen, yeah. Yeah, that it's a common. It's a, it was a common choice, so you can. It's likely that that all rooms put are a, green. Put a tapestry yeah. if you don't want to see the green. Um, let's see what else. Are there ironing boards furnished? There's no ironing board in this room, is there? I haven't seen one. I don't one. think there was. I didn't see any. Yeah. I don't recall there being one either anywhere. I don't. When in doubt, okay. what I had in my room last year, bring us one of those handheld steamers. Mm -hmm. Works ten times better. Okay, great. Another another good tip. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, they're not they're not designated areas for ironing clothes. Although in the laundry, there is kind of a flat, big open space mm -hmm. that you could potentially use there. That's in a common area, not in one of these. Um, individual people yeah yeah so we're excited that y'all tuned in with us um today at two o'clock we will be going down into your dining hall and for anyone else who is interested about campus dining we're going to be talking about that at two o'clock and then we also have a video coming up about how to prep in for moving and how to prep your tech so make sure to tune into those videos and share with all your friends fantastic yeah.